So, in the series of planning C programming, we are discussing stories class concept in C. In the previous video, we have discussed what is a stories class, why we need stories class, what stories class tells about a variable. You can say what is the significance of a stories class, right? Or you can say that video was about, uh, you can say the introduction of stories class, the basic points. So, I would recommend you go to that video first, then come to this video. Now, I have told you there are four type of storage classes, automatic, register, extern, external and static, right. One by one we are going to discuss all the types of storage classes. In this video we will talk about auto storage class. Everything about this storage class, you know, all this, you know, every single point, all the important points also I am going to tell you with the help of a program, practical also I will show you how to use this auto storage class in your program, right. So, that also I will show you on my laptop, right. Now, before that I just want to tell you one thing, as promised in the last video, I am here with the information on the biggest virtual event in 2022 and I am sure you are going to enjoy these days of unlimited fun, entertainment, competition and much more only during the Geeks Summer Carnival starting from 5th April to 11th April. And during this summer carnival, you will get many exciting offers on the courses they provide. Say there are some trending courses as, as you can see on my screen. DSA self-paced course, complete interview preparation course, advanced JS, full stack. And see, you will get these courses at a special price, at a huge discount. And there are some new courses as well. Data science, gate, react JS, J CSS. So, you will get these courses at a special price because this summer, during the summer carnival, they are going to provide some exciting offers. Like site wide in which you will get flat 15% off on all the courses, flash sale in which you will get 20% off on all the self paced courses, and stall of the day offer in which you will get 20% off on all the live courses and apart from this they have webinars, jobs and internship opportunities and many events like get a job, live learning, the gig discord, freebies, many events are there. So, what are you waiting for? Go and register for this fun filled event right now. The date is from 5th April to 11th April. The registration link I will put in the description box of this video. You can go and check out. Now, let us discuss types of storage classes. I hope now you are aware about what is a storage class. See, let me just brief you first. Whenever we declare a variable like I write int x is equal to 10. So, this is data type. This is name of the variable, right? And this is what value of the variable. So, this thing will tell, this data type will tell what kind of value you can store, integer value you can store. But some other information are also, also there associated with this uh, variable, right? Like default value. If we are not going to initialize this, what would be the default value? Second one, the scope of this variable, where we can use scope we have discussed. Three, the scope. Uh, one is you can say, one is program, uh, second was function or method scope and one was blob. These scope we have discussed in the previous video, right? So, what is the scope of this variable, the lifetime of this variable, right? And where this variable would be stored, the location. So, these things would be told by storage classes, right? Storage classes are also associated with this variable, data type plus storage class, two things. So, types of storage classes are there, four types. Automatic, register, static and external. These four types of storage classes are there. And what storage class will tell about this variable? Default scope, uh, sorry default value, the scope of the variable, location, where this variable would be stored in the memory or maybe in the register or in the main memory where and lifetime. These four things storage class will tell. So, for these storage classes, these things would be different. Suppose with this variable, I am using auto, the storage class. So, for this storage class, these four values would be different. If I use register, how to use storage classes with these variables? You just have to write down here, right? Like first storage class is automatic. So, what keyword we will use? Auto. So, just use here A U T O auto. Now, it means this variable, the storage class of this variable is auto. Now, according to this storage class, default value of this variable would be what? Garbage value. Default value would be for this storage class. We are talking about 
automatic first one automatic auto storage class so the default value would be garbage value these points are very important you just note down these points right now scope is what where you can access this variable where now scope is program fun uh, sorry function and meth, uh, function or method or block so the scope of this variable uh, the auto storage class is what either it can be a block or a function right like uh, i am writing a program something like this so first me just write down scope would be you can say block or it can be function scope right like how you can use see in main obviously main is a function so here i can declare auto like i am declaring int x is equal to 10 right so this scope is within this function main function right here we can access this we are declaring another block this is what anything which we will written here that would be considered as a block so here suppose i am again declaring a variable int x and value is nothing right so this x now this auto this x is having scope block scope and this this x is having function scope right but the, this auto this storage class cannot have scope program scope means global program means global no till the end of the program we can use so this is what you can say local variables only local scope this auto can have the storage class can have we cannot declare something like this auto int x is equal to 30 outside of the main function means this would be global variable right and this variable have program scope so this is not allowed when we are using auto storage class this will give error only these scopes are allowed function scope or block scope i hope this is clear to you only here we can use if you will print here print f percentage d x and after this block also i am going to print print f percentage d and x so this x value what would be printed we haven't initialized this x right so if you don't initialize the gar uh, the default value would be garbage value so it will print any garbage value garbage value now after this block obviously this would be destroyed we cannot access the lifetime of this x is within the block so the lifetime would be within the block or you can say till the end of the block we can access the variable variable the auto variable after that we can we cannot the same as local variable right we have discussed previous also local variable global variable fine this i am just telling you in the terms of storage class right so now the lifetime of this x is within this block after that we cannot access this x so for this x what value would be printed this x is what will access this x the value is 10 in this main function we have x value 10 so it will print 10 right now location is what where this would be stored in main memory right now why i am saying this this would be stored in your you can say stack right i hope you remember that uh, date uh, you can say memory layout we have discussed in the video memory layout of the application when some you uh, know is for code or instruction we have stack sorry for static and global variable one section is stack one section is heap right so this the location of this this variable would be stored in stack fragment right why i am saying this because maybe you will say all the local variables would be stored in stack yes but there is static variables global variables section is different register if we have if we are using storage class register those variables would be uh, stored in the cpu registers that we'll discuss in the next video all the points about register storage class right so now i think default value is clear to you scope is clear to you and if you will use this thing this would give error location is clear to you lifetime of this storage class is clear to you right now let me show you practically let me show you practically whether it's giving any error or not you will see this program also on our laptop so i hope all the points about this auto storage class is clear to you guys and by default if you will not use anything 
I am just uh, using in text. So, by default, which storage class would be considered with this O2 by default, right? So, let me create a new file auto.c and uh, header file and then in main we will take one variable auto and x is equal to 10, right? Then one more auto and x is equal to 20 and we are just printing here printf this x value, right? x is equal to and just printing x and after this block also we are printing the value printf percentage d. So, I should use like slash n and x is equal to and then x, right? So, now see this x is having block scope this one and this x is having function scope main is a function or you can say method scope. Now, let me just run this and show you what output you will get here. For this x it will print 20 right and for this x it will print 10. So, x is 10 uh, sorry first is 20 then 10 and now if we will not initialize this thing then what you will get default value for this auto storage class is what garbage value. So, you are getting x is equal to 43 any value garbage value and for this x you are getting 10 right. Now, see if I declare here auto n x is equal to 89 globally program scope. Let me just turn this and show you whether it is allowed or not see error it will give error file scope declaration of x specifies auto. So, it is not allowed right only two scopes are allowed or you can say block scope is allowed block or method scope right. No program scope is allowed for auto storage class I hope now this is clear to you right and lifetime is also clear to you you can access within the block only say so, this x we can access within this block only. If we are using the value x is equal to here 20 so this value would be accessible within this uh, no with the help of this printf only with this uh, printf statement within this block only right. After this block this x would be vanished the 20 value would be vanished right. So, lifetime is within the uh, block only right and the storage is where you can store in the main memory main memory or you can see the stack fragment of the memory right. Default value is garbage value I have shown you the scope also I have shown you. So, this is about auto storage class. So, in the next video we will see register storage class. So, now I will see in the next video till then bye bye take care.